that's fantastic that you can be can be with us. Um, so our, our EO Cafe is a place where we have friends gathering to talk about Earth observation. You recall we did a, um, a story about what you were doing last year. Uh, yes, uh, yes, that's right. You wrote about how my world-beating business is benefiting from the use of some satellites. That's right, that's right. Yeah, the Sentinel satellites. Um, Chris wrote, uh, wrote, Chris did the interview and we wrote up the, uh, the story. It should be available yeah. to everybody in the chat. How's your new uh, venture going? Christmas presents for all. Oh yes, uh, really well. We expect to launch some new brands quite soon. We're finalizing arrangements with St. Nicholas, the Tooth Fairy and the Tooth Mouse, Le Petit Souris, amongst others to cre create a new brand, Presents for All. Hey, <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Will, it, will they be using satellites as well? I suppose they help you to find your way from house to house. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I have my GNSS, Global Navigation for Santa Service. It guides me to the best landing places on each house around the world and helps me safely touch down accuracy matters. For example, in Europe, the rooftops are so small and the landing tolerances are very low, so much so, but I can only use four reindeer for my sledge instead of the usual eight. I have to leave the four of them at the border and pick them up later. I let them watch Bambi while they wait, and it does keep them quiet, but the trade-off is that Vixen always ends up crying. Oh, that's sad. I wouldn't have thought of that. So the, the Global Navigation Santa Service helps you land, and I guess yeah. it helps you also find the best routes. Yes, uh, yes. Well, you know, the so-called traveling salesman has it easy compared to me. But it's not just finding my way, it's knowing where I need to go in the first place. I have to update yeah. my address book almost constantly throughout the year, you know? And even though I'm using Inspire compliant APIs, the official sources just don't move fast enough. So I built an automated processing chain for Sentinel-2 data hosted in DIAS to generate updated building footprint maps. This is perfect for my last minute route planning. Some parts of the map even include building height information from the CLMS. This helps me plan my drop-off so I don't have to to change altitude too abruptly the reindeer don't like it and it's very not good for their health oh yeah well uh, it's been difficult for health this year and it's great to know that the dias is being used so you're using copernicus mm -hmm. as well as galileo then yes well you know i like to look after my reindeer donna and blitzen are getting quite old and the air pollution is getting worse so i, I try to avoid the worst polluted areas sentinel 5p allows me to avoid the spots where the air is too dirty very good. Yeah, this last year has been one to forget with COVID getting everywhere. Has this affected you? How have you coped with it? Well, no, not really. I mean, I haven't been affected much by COVID. I kept all the elves isolated to avoid any risk, and the reindeer have developed herd immunity. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Just imagine if after all they've been through, the girls and boys couldn't have their presents because Santa is in tube due to COVID. Terrible. But I have been very concerned about climate change recently. The ice around my home has been melting, and I've been carefully checking the monthly sea ice cover bulletins from C3S. Actually, I'm, I'm seriously considering moving my factory to China, but please don't tell the elves. The Chinese will let me do this as long as I agree to produce presents for the Chinese New Year, and the elves wouldn't like that one bit, so... Uh, but I must get going. I, I have a lot to do. Well, Santa, thank you really for dropping by. It's been, been great to have you. It's been a great pleasure talking with you and perhaps we can uh, revisit our Seb's case and uh, develop that a bit further. I hope you can manage to zoom back onto track and meet your delivery schedule. Yes, well, thank you, thank you. I hope so too. I'm a bit worried about what might happen at the UK border. I mean, I, I can just fly in and for the moment the airspace is nice and quiet, but uh, I'm afraid all the presents might have been delayed in the ports. It seemed the UK rejected the EU offer to open special Santa lanes. This is a shame, as I'm keen to finish this job and get away to my holiday home in Santorini. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Well, well, good luck with that. <laughs> Have a great and well-deserved holiday and hope to see you next year. Yes, well, th thank you ever so much. Good luck with whatever it is you're doing. And do keep those satellites operating. They yeah, make we... my life a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, great. We, we'll do our best. See you next year. Thank you very, very much, Santa. Cool. Good luck. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thanks, Santa. Bye.